This week on Inside Boulder News, Building 61, the new all-ages community maker space, opens at the main library. Parks and Recreation celebrates its volunteers and get a hands-on education about how Boulder Fire Rescue operates through the Citizens Fire Academy. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, I'm Ashley Prill. Building 61, the brand new all ages community maker space officially opened to the public February 18th. Not only does this machine do circuit boards, which is really cool, but it also can machine other materials. So Located in the 1961 portion of the main library, the public workshop features everything from a CNC machine and laser cutter to a firing kiln and pottery wheels. We're going to be running programming events and trainings Wednesday through Sundays. So we will be open on the weekends and we hope that that will encourage more people to come to this space. We are going to have a ton of different projects that you can do. Uh, you can come in here uh, and work with a variety of different machines. We'll have guided practices that you can explore all of the different tools that we have. So Adam and I will essentially be facilitating most of the programs. My background is in woodworking and I'm also an engineer uh, by trade. Adam is a 3D designer and uh, has done a lot of animation work. So between the two of us, we'll be offering a wide range of programming ourselves. And then for anything that falls outside of our area of expertise, we're going to bring in uh, expert instructors. I think anyone who has a project in mind that wants to explore the technology, that wants to really get in there and try to make something, whether they want to cut or weld or sew or print, uh, this is going to be the place to do it. The celebration continues February 19th through February 21st from noon to 6 when patrons can drop in to tour the space and get hands-on with a fun interactive project. Anyone with a valid Boulder Library card will be able to participate in library-sponsored programs, trainings, and events for free thanks to a grant from the Boulder Library Foundation, which also made the makerspace possible. For more information, visit the Building 61 webpage. The excitement continues at the Boulder Public Library, where the Boulder Arts Cinema will be opening on February 25th. The library teamed up with Downtown Boulder, Inc. to turn the main library's Canyon Theater into a first-run independent theater right in the heart of downtown. Well, we haven't had a first-run movie theater downtown for 20 years or more. So we're very excited to bring First One movies back downtown for the first time in decades. Um, they will not be the big commercial movies that you see at Century and some of the other theaters. They will be art movies, art films, and independent films. But they will be first run and first quality. The library closes on Friday and Saturday nights at 6. And we were thinking, like, well, what a great opportunity for us to um, pump this up in the evenings. I had been approached by two private groups who were interested in, like, could we book the theater for film showings? Um, and so we were really thinking along these lines. When DBI came along, um, they had a much more sound proposal and really interested in a partnership and not just like, and how could we make this something sustainable and that would really work uh, for downtown Boulder and the civic area and activate the library in a whole new way. It's a great, great space. This used to be the main library, the 61 building as it's called. This was the main area where the card catalogs were and the circulation desk and upstairs was where the stacks were. The experience will be coming into a, a place where you can get some nice concessions and libations and then sit and watch a movie. And we've got very good sound and projection now that's been uh, assembled for the Boulder Art Cinema. Opening weekend features Trumbo, Amy, and the Danish Girl. Tickets are $11 for general admission and $9 for seniors and students. For showtimes, tickets, and information, visit boulderartcinema.org. This week, the Boulder Parks and Recreation Department held its third annual Volunteer Appreciation Dinner. The dinner was an opportunity to thank volunteers as well as commemorate their service to the Boulder community. So the City of Boulder is lucky enough to have over 300 um, ongoing volunteers that help us do all sorts of things around the city. They help us manage flower beds, they help with creek cleanups, and uh, the third annual Volunteer Appreciation Dinner is really a time for us to honor them and to thank them for all that they do for our community. The Boulder Fish and Game Club was given the 2016 Albert Lifetime Achievement Award to honor more than 65 years of service maintaining and inspiring a unique fishing culture at the Everett Pearson Kids Fishing Pond. Actually, the, the club <laughs> gave back a lot to me. We found out the best places to fish in the community. <laughs> and the club uh, itself was the one that, that uh, formed the uh, kids pond. 
some of the elder people come down there and they say, I learned to fish with these ponds. And that, that's what I really feel is, is a, something to feel proud of. And I think the city is proud of us too. If you'd like to get involved in upcoming volunteer opportunities with the Parks and Recreation Department, visit bprvolunteer.org. Registration is now open for the popular Boulder Fire Rescue Citizens Fire Academy. The Citizens Fire Academy is a free seven-week course that gives community members an overview of how their department operates with hands-on participation in classes. Participants will meet once a week on Monday evenings and attend two Saturday hands-on trainings. The course is free to Boulder residents who are 18 and older, and applicants must agree to a background check. Applications are due by March 31st and are available online or at Boulder Fire Rescue Headquarters. If you haven't seen the new improved Boulder 8 TV programming, check us out in HD and online. Boulder 8 TV is now in high definition on Comcast Channel 880 with more local shows, science programming, and world news. If you're not a Boulder Comcast customer, you can also watch us live online with any internet connected device at boulderchannel8.com to catch all of our programming and live meeting coverage. We're streaming in high definition 24 hours a day. Thank you for watching Inside Boulder News. Stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter by submitting news tips and questions. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe.